If you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, but you are experiencing technical issues, there are features built into Windows you can use to check the health of your wireless connection. One of those features is going into the control panel. So you can simply type control panel on your Windows search. And in control panel, you can go into the network and internet. Go to the view network status and task. And in here, select the Wi-Fi uh, network connection. In this case, it will be this one for me. And when you click that, it will open the properties or general tab of that Wi-Fi connection. And in here, under signal quality, you should see that if you have the full, uh, you know, bars or, you know, half a bar, etc., etc. So it will have some detail on the current wireless condition. It will show you the connections, the type of IP, which in my case, this is IPv4, and how long it has been connected to the system and the speed which the connection is giving us. Another way to test your wireless connection is to go to the command prompt. You can open command prompt by going into start and typing CMD and you can open the command prompt right here. And in here, what you can do is you can run a specific command to check a couple of uh, configuration features within your wireless connection. So that command will be net shwlan show interfaces. And in here, you will see bunch of information that can be used to verify that your connection is good. That includes the signal strength. So if you have a signal strength issue, it'll show up here with a specific value for the signal strength at that time uh, this command was run. It'll also show you the radio type. It has a bunch of other information that may be useful for you uh, in troubleshooting, such as the uh, SSID name, uh, the physical address uh, right here, uh, and uh, you know a bunch of other data that may be useful to you in testing. You can either type sh uh, sorry uh, either type uh, in uh, net sh uh, wlan show interfaces, or you can type net sh wlan sh int, which is a short version of that. And if you press enter, that will give you the same information. If your wireless connection is down what's going to happen, it will give you an error message. And I can show you what that means. So if you disconnect, if I disconnect this wireless connection, and if I run the same command, now you can see an error message, a message in here, uh, basically saying that, that there is no network connected. So because I have disconnected the wireless here, now, we have that error message showing up. It's not really an error message. It's just showing that there is no connections on the network. So that's how you test your wireless connections using the built-in features of Windows 10, Windows 11, as well as Windows servers. Until next time, please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.